Hi guys, TT Cannon here with Cannon Studios and today I wanted to talk about the Wham Bam Flexible Build Plate. As some of you may know, I recently did a video on reviewing the Oligo Saturn and I already had this installed on the Saturn. So I did talk about it to make it clear that it doesn't come with the Saturn and because I got a lot of questions, I decided to go ahead and make a video since I haven't installed this one yet. However, I already have it installed on my Mars and Saturn, which I use regularly. And one of the biggest reasons why I decided to use these is because I did damage the build plate at one point, And from then on, it would mess up the prints. So it also helps protect the build plate, which is really, really useful, as well as some other things that I will be going over. So I am going to be installing this actually on my filament uh, plate here. And I am also going to show you guys how to remove it, which I already have a print complete on my Saturn here. So I'll show you how to pop off a finished print if you're curious as how to do that as well. This top piece, I've already installed one for both my Iligu Mars and Saturn, which I didn't have to do any dusting or cutting on. It already was sized to those. But this build plate is a specific size that they do not have, which is okay because I'm just gonna have to go ahead and cut it to adjust the sizing to fit it on there. going to have our three pieces. We have the metal piece right here. The magnet. And then it comes with instructions as well as some stickers. Okay, so first we're going to attach the magnetic portion to uh, my build plate here for my filament printer. And this is square and you can see it's a little bit bigger here. So we just wanna trim it so that it fits so it's not hanging off anywhere. And I already went ahead and measured and marked my lines here. So I'm just gonna draw my lines and then cut with my X-Acto. So after we get it cut, and I want mine to fit over the glass part, which it looks pretty good, we're going to clean the plate off with some alcohol really, really well. Make sure to get off any um, debris. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to peel the top layer about an inch here and then we're going to line this part up and just stick kind of here in the center once you feel like it's lined up pretty good. After you have your edge even and you press it down secure, just lift this up. And as you peel this back part, push down in the center and go, I'm going to go out as I go to try to get it flat and even as possible.
Alright, now we have magnet plate installed. So we're just going to clean this off with alcohol and make sure to have this um, regularly cleaned of any debris. So you can go ahead and add this and if anything happens where this gets damaged, you can remove and add on a new one if something like that happens. But honestly, installing it is pretty much that easy. You just add your magnetic paper and when you have your print, you just pop on. All right. So here's my wham bam plate on the Mars here. And I just went over installing it for the filament printer. This is basically the same. They have a specific size for the Mars. And you won't have this PX paper because you don't need it on the resin printer. So I just added, attached my magnetic piece here, which I showed you guys in the video. You don't have to resize it. And then here's your metal plate here. So the one thing about the Illigus is you don't have to worry about zeroing. The height is added here with the two millimeters. But when you re-zero the machine here, there is enough room depression to recorrect where zero is. Um, it probably depends on what kind of machine you have for something like that. And as far as this part here, the metal plate, you want to make sure it's on even. Because if you just slap it on and it's crooked a little bit, you know, these edges can hit the side of your printer and things like that. So a good way to make sure it's even is just laying it flat on the table here and just lining it up and slapping it on there just like that which works pretty well so, all right so you guys saw how I assembled the wham bam plate on a filament printer and you got to see what it looks like on the resin printer and now I'm gonna go ahead and I have something that's already printed on my Saturn here that I can remove and show you guys that process so um, this is a costume that I'm currently working on which is based on Mercy's devil uh, skin I'm doing kind of in my own rendition so this is part of the horns for that so here we are right here came out really nice so I'm excited about putting this together this week all right so I have a finished piece here and we're just gonna look for this um, little tab here so be careful when removing it slowly so you don't splash any on your face. And I just kind of slide my finger up and just remove it just like that. All right, so from there, just flex it like that and it just came off. And there you have it. You probably won't have to do um, any scraping or anything at all. It's pretty rare. I've never had to do any scraping. I know the Illigo specifically comes with metal scrapers. I recommend not using the metal ones and using the plastic ones. Um, you don't want to damage this plate at all either. So if anything, you should be able to pop it off. I haven't had any problems. I don't recommend using a scraper at all. It's kind of the purpose of having the flex plate. All right, so thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. I really appreciate it. I hope you've been enjoying all my resin printing videos, which I have quite a few, but I do have plans to make other videos about molding, casting, foam work, and so on. So if you have a request, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Also, if you ever want to catch me live working in my studio, feel free to check me out at twitch.tv slash kikicanon. And I would like to thank all my supporters on Twitch this month so far. Thank you so much, Mikulis, for being tier three sub. Also, so far, this month's donations for December. Thank you so much, uh, Daz, Da, Cat, and Avocado Kids for the $1 donation. And also, thank you, Eldritch, for the $100 donation this month so far. Really, really appreciate that, guys. And also, round of applause for all my subs this month. Thank you for the continued support. I love you guys hanging out with me and the cats. So thank you, thank you.